Hey everyone, today I am going to do a St. Patrick's Day tutorial without the Irish accent. Huh, Irish Spring. <laughs> Lucky charms. <laughs> Top of the morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh, I just got like a hot flash. Look, I'm turning all red. Maybe I got embarrassed doing my accent. Okay, now, um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with green eyeshadow. I think it's beautiful. And then sometimes I wear it and I just go, yuck. And um, I think because I have green eyes and pale skin, that is probably why. Um, it's really hard to wear green eyeshadow and not look sick. So, um, so you know, if you wear just kind of green eyeshadow and don't do anything else to balance it or kind of ground it, it can look kind of gross. Um, so we're, we're gonna not, oh hi baby, you wanna come up here? Sophie says hi, Sophie says hi. She always has her ears back when she's like, unsure. I know. Can you go now and lay on the bed so mommy can work? Oh! Yeah, go on, go on, go lay on the bed. Massive windstorm going on outside right now. Um, 40 mile an hour winds or something crazy. So if I lose power, you won't be seeing this video. Okay, um, let's get started. Uh, Kathleen Lights said this is her favorite drugstore primer. So what did I do? Went out and bought a tube. I actually bought this at Target and I'm wondering if it would have been cheaper at Ulta. Ooh, it's um, it's got that like dimethicone slip to it, and it's kind of white. Made in China. I do like the pore filler one, so maybe. Do you see how white? It's got that white cast. I mean, it's blending out. It does feel very smooth though. Okay, I think I'm going to try the Revlon Color Stay Normal to Dry Shade 150 uh, that I got from my last drugstore haul. It looks a little light. And let's, guys, I'm using this artist's, artist's brush, whether you like it or not. It's just the bomb. Yeah, it looks like a hairbrush, and it's soft as a baby's butt, so, you know. Mm, I think that's pretty light, but you know what? Drugstore foundations do oxidize, so let's give it a minute. Also, I don't know if the coverage is uber. I'll just siphon it. I am going to apply this bourgeois one two three perfect well i think it's supposed to be one two three perfect <laughs> over the top of it because it's got more yellow oh look at that that's nice Oh, you know, just branches hitting the window. So I'm not going to do concealer. I will set my powder, but I'm not going to do concealer yet because I'm going to really clean up my um, under eye area after I do my eyeshadow just because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of fallout. So I'm just using some RCMA powder. Oh, I love this Real Techniques powder brush. Which one is it called? Just a big old powder brush. Oof, it's so good. My Jouer 
um, eyelid primer. I'm also going to play with these two um, Makeup Geek shadows, Sea Mist and Apple Teeny, which I bought and I've really never worn. They're so pretty. Um, so also, I have a Wet n Wild single. I do not know the shade, but it's not hard to figure out. I've depotted it, but they still make it. So let's do my usual all over my lid blah 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 and I'm gonna use um, beaches and cream this is just gonna be my transition okay I'm gonna just take also is this Barcelona yes Barcelona Beach from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to build on that because these two are just amazing. If you want to get like a Z palette and some really basic colors, the Beaches and Cream and the Barcelona Beach are perfect. So I'm just setting the stage for my transition shade. You get the picture. Now I'm going to take the darker, the sea mist color, well, it's not darker, it's teal. See the teal? Let's see what that does. It goes on kind of blue. I'm testing this. Let's see here. Hmm. of making this up as I go. Typical, right? Now I'm going to grab that Wet n Wild shade. It's just basically a forest green. And I'm using the same brush and I am really going in harder. You know what I mean. I'm going to, I'm taking it in a little bit stronger in the crease. Just over that seamus. And I'm not going up too high. I would look like, you know, that little 90-year-old grandma that sits in church with the, the blue eyeshadow up under her eyebrow. I know. I'm just really packing this on. Okay, so I've done a lot of packing. Now I'm going to do some blending. I'm also going to use my e.l.f. Prism Shadow Palette. This is another favorite of Kathleen Lights. Dude, what's going on? I'm like, all Kathleen Lights up in this house. Um, I am going to take this darker one on the end and did you see that? And I am going to really pull that in. These shadows are like so soft and yeah. They're just good. Okay, and I'm actually going to take a cleaner brush because I feel like that was a mistake. And I'm gonna put it in this second shade right here. You guys, it's windstorm. I just feel like bronze and green go really well together. 
And if I'm wrong, then I don't want to be right. All right. So that's just kind of a blended bunch of <laughs> now there's green there's bronze it's like what's going on i probably could have skipped a few steps right maybe not put the seamist on from make it geek first whatever okay we are going to fix plus this baby we are going to I'm looking, oh this i'm looking for a flat this is good I'm gonna fix plus on this wet and wild and the same wet and wild green we've been using and I am going to pack this on. Oh, I love you fix plus. Oh, is that pretty? Is that pretty? See how messy we are down there? Yeah, we're gonna clean that up. Oh my gosh. This is like Emerald City City. Now for the other, I am going to put this gold because doesn't gold go so well on St. Patrick's Day? And I am going to put that right here. I'm using a pencil, brush, you can use your Sigma, you can use anything. This happens to be a really nice one from the um, Takamori on Beautylish. I don't know what number it is. But it's like, okay. And then I'm going to just take a tiny, tiny little, I am going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to put it in the white right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the same brush I had with uh, Fix Plus on it, but like an idiot, I can't find it. So, oh my God, I am like the dumbest person in the plant on the planet. I don't know. This is like a makeup revolution brush that was in my. I'm just taking another flat brush. Okay, you guys. Don't laugh that I can't find things. And I'm going back in the in the wet and wild. And now I'm gonna go underneath. I'm just putting green up in this joint. Whoa. You want me to do that? I mean, you can put it on your waterline if you want. That was just not my intention. Okay, wow. I feel like I'm smiling with a thousand Irish eyes. What do you say? Okay, let's do some brows. I'm gonna do my L'Oreal Brow Styler in blonde because this is kind of a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz, so I figure might as well give it some equal love, right? Okay, now jump ahead to some Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in Light Medium. I am cleaning up this mess. And I love this Morphe E45 brush because it's so soft and it just does such a nice job blending. 
I'm kind of trying to be less addicted to my beauty blender. Nothing wrong with beauty blenders, I'm just trying to save money on replacing them. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of setting. Back to my RCMA. This is another Morphe brush. It's my E49 brush and I love it. Do you guys see how pretty and green that is? Do you hear the frickin' storm outside? You guys, I'm digging into my Hourglass palette from Holiday. I love this palette recently. Um, don't hate me. <laughs> um, if you did not uh, take advantage of this when it was available, that's okay. But I do recommend if you ever have the chance to splurge on an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, just do it. They are the most beautifully milled, processed, powders in the world. They really are. Okay, I'm going to take um, just a slim, slimmer and I'm putting it in this um, ambient, no I'm sorry, it's called iridescent light. I'm just going to kind of add a little sparkle, which I might regret. That's okay. Hey, if, if you don't have any St. Patrick's plans, then just do this and eat your corned beef by yourself. Just kidding. Who eats corned beef? I'm sorry. Maybe Irish people do. If you like corned beef, no offense, please. Um, now I'm going to take just, um, I'm just going to do this diffused light. It's either the diffused light or the dim light. I get mixed up. But I'm just putting this everywhere because oh my gosh I love this one it's this one whatever this one is do you see how my face just looks freaking airbrush now now I'm going in with um, the it superhero mascara which is kind of the bomb.com Mascara is on, and if you really want to pack a punch, Color Prevails makes a beautiful, and it's called Hunter Green. Look at that liner. Pop this. And the waterline, give it extra punch. And on the other side is this taupe, it's called Mocha, and it's this shadow stick. And it's really cool. Love these things. Okay, let's do lips. I feel like going a little bit neutral, and I love this color from ColourPop called Button. So let's give it a try. It was something at Christmas where they had these dual ended jobbers and I am so glad I got them. So it's like a matching little lip pencil with um, the lippy stick on the end. looks okay right <laughs> and I do like this Angel Veil vale primer from NYX yes I do what do you think and I think it doesn't compete with my green eyes so there you go well this might just be fun for spring if you don't give a hoot about St. Patrick's Day but you know why not 
let's play with color. We're getting into that time of year and um, I hope you like this. I will say afterthoughts on what I did, probably just start with the Wet n Wild eyeshadow and the, and the, um, and the Prism e.l.f. shadow palette. The Makeup Geek color in Barcelona Beach is a great transition shade, but I don't think I would recommend the Seamist um, like I started off with. It just didn't give enough anything. Um, but I do like the Wet n Wild and the um, Elf together. And I do like this Angel Veil vale NYX primer. Um, so, yeah, works well with. Okay, well, there you go, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you subscribe. And may, what do they say? Oh, Aaron Go Bra. That's what they say. Um, have a McDonald's green milk shake on me. Or I should say for me, because I won't go near that stuff. Lactose intolerant, of course. Um, and I will see you guys next video. Thank you so much. Okay, bye.